Yeah, I thought it was a, um, a really successful road trip um, for what we wanted to accomplish. Um, obviously, you, you know, you want to go 2-0. Uh, we're able to split the weekend and, you know, our goals are, worst case scenario, split, split the road, take care of home. Um, yeah, Mount Gambier, mate, so obviously a very tough challenge this weekend. Definitely, yeah, they're very rich with um, a winning culture of history. Uh, they go back from Siebel, maybe even the ABA. Um, you know, with, they're allowed, you know, a few imports here and there as well. Um, so it's going to be very challenging for us. seems like they've kind of put things together and they're really rolling at the moment. Um, and, but so are we. So, you know, they meet us here at home and we're able to, to see what happens there. I said just last week, uh, going back to the game, last game here in Tassie, um, you just, even when you were challenged, you found a way to, to make sure you kept that lead. Definitely. We, um, you know, that's what we practice, uh, you know, when things get tough and we, we're able to now kind of overcome adversity and know that, you know, the game's won in all four quarters, not the first. So, you know, we're able to, to stay together and, you know, when times get tough, we just get around each other and, uh, you know, just do what we've, we've been taught. So. I'm sure you were saying you're absolutely loving your time in Tassie and you want to sort of come here permanently, potentially for a few years. I do. I think it... Uh, I thought it was temporary at first, uh, you know, the town's starting to grow on me, the people community. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take it, uh, you know, month by month, but um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here uh, for me and uh, outside of basketball as well that I would look into in the future. So I'm always open for it. And on court, you seem to have found a, a, a good spot in the, in the Hobart sort of scene as well. How, how have you found sort of your first Oh, no, really good. So, you know, not just the games, but in the community, um, playing Wednesday nights with Hobart Phoenix as well. And um, I've just learned how serious they take the league there as well. Um, the community, the people that are ex-players and, um, you know, now kids and the youth coming up as well. It's just so welcoming. So I'm having a great time and getting involved where I can and just going with that. And, and it's a funny sort of NBL one season with, a, with like West Ham um, Americans, etc. But you seem to have really stepped up as a leader as a new player for the Chargers. How have you found it easy, to, at least from the sidelines it looks like that? Definitely. What attitude are you take into the game? Yeah, it's just, um, it's a huge leadership role. Um, and, you know, it's just bu uh, building that trust through tr uh, training and the practices and um, just the guys getting around you. Obviously, past experience that I've had as well, but also being humble enough to just focus at the task at hand and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a huge leadership role. I'm enjoying it, so. And as a leader, what, what sort of stuff do you think you guys need to work on going into this week's game? Um, I think defensively. I think we're one of the best teams in the whole competition. Putting points on the board, we're always going to score. So now it's just a matter of um, putting all four quarters together defensively and um, staying on the same page. So if we can win three out of the four quarters, then we'll take care of business. Um, I think it'll actually enhance what I do. Um, you know, I was thinking about that as well. You know, anytime you've got guys that have NBL experience or have played at the top level, um, it just makes your job a lot easier as well. So that means now team scouting is just going to be a lot harder. Like, who do we contain? You really can't because there's 10 deep. Um, you know, those guys are able to, to help where they can as well. And it just enhances the whole group and the culture. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah. your coach was um, talking about a fortnight ago, um, talking about staying in Tasmania, but also the, the fact that you are an NBL level talent. Is that something that you're still chasing as well, to, like to get to secure an NBL contract going forward? Oh, 100%. And look, I would never say no. Um, you know, you look at the NBA, uh, not the yeah, NBA guys like Campazzo, 30 year old uh, rookie, stuff like that. So I feel like it's never over. Um, it's just that, you know, just taking care of my business here. And then uh, from there, if teams are interested and in, in offer that contract, then I'm happy to take that on. So.